Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise and today is my March scrapbook review chit chat video. I did not do one of these in February, I just kind of lost track of time. Ah. Olivia's here with me. So time definitely just got away from me in February. I didn't film as many videos as I had wanted to film because a lot of Freckled Fawn stuff is in the works. So I worked a bunch this last month. There's some great, great stuff that's gonna be happening very, very soon with that. And one of the big things was we're starting challenges, which I'm so thrilled about. I've really wanted to do this. I think it's just gonna be great for Freckled Fawn to just grow and spread the word and have awesome inspiration for us. So I'm really, really thrilled. I created the sketch that went up April 2nd, so I'm really, really proud of that. I hope you guys will play along with that. So Olivia's with me being a goofball. You can probably tell there's her little foot. So it's gonna be an interesting video, but I'm trying to get this filmed. Once all of the Freckled Fawn projects get revealed, I won't have to work quite as much, but right now the behind the scenes stuff and getting things organized and getting things ready is just taking up a lot of my, what would be scrapbook time. So I'm so excited about everything that's gonna be launching very soon and the things that have already started. I hope you guys will check out the Freckled Fawn blog and stay up to date with Freckled Fawn stuff. We post a lot on Instagram and we also have a Facebook page. So you can check all of that stuff out. I'm just super excited. I really just love the sketch challenge. So for the beginning of March, I wanted to do a scrapbook every day challenge to myself and I did great like the first three weeks. And then the last week we started working on some Freckled Fawn things like I had just talked about. And that sucked up all of my time and I totally ditched my March yeah. challenge project. I posted most days last month, which I was really proud about. I want to get back into blogging more. And so it was a really big jump start. I definitely want to continue with that, but definitely it's not going to be an everyday thing like it was. It was a lot to handle, but then at the same time, it was really fun. So I definitely want to <laughs> challenge myself to keep scrapbooking almost every day. Despite not actually scrapbooking every day, I feel like I made amazing progress the last two months, uh, especially in March. So I um, got all of September 2016 done. I got a lot done in my project life. I've gotten a lot I've gotten a lot of traditional layouts done. I didn't quite stick to the getting the month previous all the way done, but I made so much progress that I'm not even concerned about, you know, keeping up with just strictly, you know, February for last month, but I'm just stoked. I'm gonna try to get February done this month, try to get March most of the way done at least this month. I'm just really proud of myself for sticking with it and getting a lot done each month. I will go ahead and show you guys my progress for the last two months. So here is the start of the month of September from 2016. I just went ahead and scrapped up to the whole um, September, which was great. I got it all done. I just stuck everything down to the 12 by 12s like I normally do. And there are some 12 by 12 layouts I think I still need to do in this stack. But for the most part, it's done, which I'm really happy. I got a whole um, month done. We'll just go ahead and flip through. Now I did show some of these on the blog, so you'll probably have seen them if you've been looking at my blog where I was doing all my scrapbooking. I just kept everything super duper simple for these. Some pages I hardly have any kind of embellishments on at all. So here's one I need to scrapbook. Again, another one I need to scrapbook. For the most part, this is done, which I was really happy about making so much progress. I've got some pages in here that still need to be finished. Right here I started using the fall decorations, so um, October and November will be all fall decorations. And that was the end. So hopefully this month coming up I can get October done. I still need to order my November photos. I've been kind of working on editing those and picking out the ones I want from that stack. So I'm not exactly sure where I left off on showing you guys my progress in January because I didn't do a February video. So I'm just gonna start at February and go back and you can see I need to stick that back on. That's why I usually glue these cardstock 
shaped thing or these chipboard shaped things because they do pop off so I need to glue that back down um, but I will go ahead and walk you through the February I've got the tabs on here like so now I thought I would put them at the top but there's so much room on the page protector I ended up moving them down to the side and just stapling them on so I will walk you through everything I've gotten a lot done for February but I'm not completely done with it yet. I didn't quite finish all my 12 by 12s for February, so I need to still work on that during April. I'll just walk you through everything. Oops, I don't think you can see the other side there. <laughs> Let's go back. There you go, you can see all of those. And a lot of these I made process videos for, they're on the blog. And, um, and then that was the end of this album and I jump into another album. So here is continuing on with February. Uh, Olivia flips through these so they do pop out. I still gotta go back and seal up the tops of these. So when I've been traditionally scrapbooking, I've been going back and filling in the February pages. I would work on one or two a night and get them knocked out. And then I started September and then I stopped scrapbooking. And then I did that month of September. So it took me away from finishing up this, but I'm still super happy with my progress for this month. I've still got to do all of her Valentine's Day spreads. And I was waiting because I was ordering some scrapbook.com items that I planned on using for these February pages. So I skipped this whole section completely doing these traditional pages with her little um, Valentine's Day outfit on. I also, I finally got some macaron things, so I'm gonna stick that with these macaron photos. I've got a few pages of macaron photos that I can use those stickers on. And then I've seen some pizza embellishments, but they were sold out at scrapbook.com. Um, that on a whim collection has pizza themed things so i really want to get some for this page i'll probably wait on this page for a while then some outdoor photos and then i really liked this page i used um, a sketch challenge for this one i'm pretty sure just really like how that one turned out i've still got to do that one I used the Freckled Fawn March Kit a lot for some of these exploration photos. I really liked the embellishments for some of these outdoor photos that we had. And then here's another macaron spread, so I was waiting for those macaron embellishments. And then again, we're outside, so I used some of the alphas from that March Kit. So these are for uh, Olivia's birthday. So this is all of Olivia's birthday party, so I've got a couple of pages I still need to scrap for that. It's the end of February, I'm picking up on March here. We went to the wildlife park, so I still have to um, do something creative with these two pages here. And then I've got a couple of five by sevens to scrapbook. I hope to get a lot of this part done um, in April so that I'm more caught up, although I still want to go back and do the October and November photos at some point too. So I am going to be combining, you know, getting caught up with the current stuff and getting caught up with last year. And I still have lots of the uh, 12 by 12s to finish up. And then this is where I am currently. It is April the this is April the 3rd, so I'm gonna finish up the week 11 tonight and hopefully get that posted for you guys soon. So this is the first um, two pages of week 11. I've got week 12 photos already printed as well. I've still gotta work on week 13 photos and I think we're just starting week 14. Uh, it's Monday today. I did get one scrapbook haul from scrapbook.com. I ended up getting a bunch of stuff. I'll have a video on that coming up for you guys very soon. I had talked about this in some video. I don't know if it was on this channel or on my family channel, but I switched all of my photos over to 
Amazon Prime photo, which is just their backup system. It's just a cloud-based system. I really, really wasn't happy with the iCloud stuff. I have an Apple phone, so I used the iCloud, which is the Apple cloud system for backing up, and I just hated it. It just didn't work for me, and so I was working on getting all of my photos backed up on the Amazon Prime photos, and I'm so happy to say that this month they are all there. And so I'm gonna look on here and tell you guys the number here. So this was all of the photos through um, last spring, so it's been about a year worth of photos. Plus I already moved some photos from my physical backups. I have USB drives that I have everything backed up on. So this is um, most of the last like year and a half, I still have quite a few of her uh, newborn and baby photos to put on here, but I have 19,372 photos backed up on Amazon Prime Photos. So I was super duper excited to get it all finally done. And it feels great to have more space on my phone. In order to use the iCloud Drive system, you actually have to keep the photos on your phone and it makes them really small and pixelated. Um, and then it'll download the photo if you wanna see it. So if you like click on the photo in your photo album, it'll download it really quick from your drive. And then after a certain amount of time, it gets rid of the big file on your phone. But having thousands and thousands of those little tiny pixelated things, my phone was just full of photos. So now I've got more space on my phone, which has been nice. And so that's just a game changer for me is having an actual backup system to where if I delete the pictures on my phone, they're still on my Amazon Drive. And that wasn't the case with the iCloud thing. Uh, if I deleted them for my phone, they would delete for my drive as well. So it was just a total fail system, I don't know who came up with it, but they should be fired because it's just a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, it definitely needs to be like the Amazon Drive system or any other cloud system where the stuff stays on your cloud. It doesn't get deleted. Um, but anyway, enough rambling about that. I'm just super excited that it's done. So looking forward to the month of April, I didn't actually get my freckled fawn goodies. They got lost in the mail. And by the time I realized that they were lost, it was too late for me to do the reveal videos. So as soon as I get my supplies, I'll be putting up my unboxing videos for that. I'll start making projects with my April stuff. I'm so excited to get the kit. There's so many beautiful supplies in the kit. I just can't wait to get it. I have been almost devastated not getting my kit because I want to play with it so bad. I think that covers everything for today. So looking forward to um, April, I plan on trying to catch up with February completely, at least most of March, hopefully all of March. And if I can wing getting that done, then I'll work on October of 2016 photos. So that's my game plan moving forward. I want to stay current with my project life and slowly work on those traditional pages. So I would love to know what you guys are up to as far as crafty goals this month. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your goals are for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and be sure to subscribe. I'll try to have two videos for you guys every week. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> ah, that's you. All right, mommy needs to record. Oh, did you bonk it? Yeah, you're getting too close. Oh, look, Bella wants to be in the picture too. You say, cheese. Yeah, we're all in the picture. <laughs> oh, Bella, sweet girl. Mama. Yeah, she's such a sweet girl. Yeah. yeah she is. Oh, she's going to be in a picture with us. Oh, yeah, I give her good pets. All right, mama's got to record her video. Then we're gonna go to the park. Yeah. But first, mommy's gotta do this. Can you please sit? Don't touch the lens. Mm -hmm. There's Bella. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the whole crew right here. Bella Dula. I see you, look, he's so cute. Bella, go, go. You're breathing too much. Mama. She's breathing. You can come here, Bella. You wanna come lay by me? Yeah. Bella, come here. Mama. You come here. All right, Bella's gonna breathe around the camera. Okay, it's gonna be really annoying, Bella. You wanna go outside? Mm -hmm. Let's let Bella go outside. She's breathing too hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll let her go play outside for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mama. You're so silly, can I have hug? Mama. That's mommy's arms. Whoa, you knocked us over. Mm -hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. You wanna fly?
Fly. Fly. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Mommy's got to film. Yeah, it's hard to climb mommy's back. <laughs> Ow, you hope pull mommy here. Gentle. Hey, hey, hey. Do you need to go sit down? That was not kind. Can you tell mama sorry? Yeah. Okay. I forgive you, Babadoo. I forgive you. Yeah. You're gentle with mommy. All right, mama's gonna record now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you pulled me down. Wow! You're gonna get squashed like that.